up? It's your girl Simone Cherise here and today in this video I'm going to be doing a nice super long genie ponytail so for a nice full spin around. Now I'm going to be using some Boss Extend hair from my girl Sparkle Marie's hair brand. I have two bundles of the 18 inches both in mink straight. They're both nice, silky, luscious and very full bundles. So for this video, I wanted to show you guys a very detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how I do my ponytails. So for step one, you want to make sure you have a nice, smooth base. Now for me, I already had went to the hair salon and I had my hair blow-dried and flat-ironed, so my hair is already straightened. Now you will need to do this process for a nice, slick look. I can, in the future, create ponytails that are heatless if you guys are up for that. Start off by putting your hair into a ponytail and for step two, you want to go ahead and use some Gotta Be Glue Hairspray. Now this is my favorite hairspray, it does the most for me and it holds it in place. Now you're going to want to spray a lot and I do my hair in three sections. So I'm starting off with the right side because it makes it much more easier and then you want to use a hard brush to brush the hair up into the direction that your ponytail is going. You can see I have my opposite hand holding the hair in place and I'm holding it to make sure that it does not move and that it helps to create that nice mold while applying heat. Next we're going to go ahead and do the middle section. I do want to point out to you guys also that I am using a lot of this product because you have to remember, make sure you're getting all the way down to the roots with that hairspray. For step three, I went ahead and I brushed out any baby hair. Now you could have done that beforehand or you could have done that afterhand, but if you do it after, it will be harder because you will be pulling hair out of your mold. And if you do it before, it might be a little messy because you'll be trying to create the mold while having all this fuzzy hair in the front. Every now and then I am going to keep redoing my ponytail. Now make sure your hair is not tight because if you do wear ponytails a lot and you do frequent this hairstyle, over time you will gain a little ball spot in the middle of your head. So please make sure you are not doing your ponytail tight. Also, if you do it tight, you will get a really bad headache and this hairstyle that usually lasts me about four to five days will only last you like two because you'll be having a migraine. So make sure it's not as tight. I want to point out to you guys how much that hand is really doing a lot of the work. It's helping to hold the hair in place. Now make sure before you move into the next section that it's completely dry. If you do not wait till it's dry, you will actually allow for there to be lumps by the beginning of the ponytail. So make sure you are waiting. Again, here I am redoing my ponytail just to make sure it's just to neaten it up. Now it's time to go ahead and spray the back. I want to mention to you guys also, I put my hair in a little bun on top of my head because when the hair is just hanging, even though it's not as long, <laughs> um, it does get in the way. So just make sure you put it in a tiny little bun just to get it out of your way. I also want to make clear to you guys that as you're doing this, after you've gone over a section you can see I kind of split my head into five sections you had the left the middle and the right and then you have the back split into two sections I want to make it clear that once one section is dry you cannot go back and brush or comb any sections because the hairspray will flake up so keep that very much so in mind Now for the fourth step. This step is the fun step. <laughs> now it's time to sculpt those edges. I'm gonna be using some Lovely Beads Edge Control from my girl Lovely Brianna. If you watch her YouTube channel, tell her I sent you there because I love this edge control. I'm always using it. If you guys have ever watched my video, videos, I should say. And I'm using a comb to kind of just create the nice, neat baby hairs. You can add more if you want, but, but for me, this is what I like. Now for step five, the fifth step. Very important as well. You can actually skip this if you don't want your hair to be as long, but I'm gonna take a piece of braiding here and I'm gonna braid it into my ponytail. 
and I'm doing this so that my ponytail braid can actually be a little more longer than how long it would have been if I just did it with no braiding hair, aka with my real hair. If you watched my previous ponytail video, I did it with only my real hair, which wasn't bad, but I had a nice short ponytail. But because I want my ponytail, the actual weave, to be as long as possible, I am adding on braiding hair to make my braid longer. When I, so that when I wrap the weave around my braid, my ponytail is stretched out more. You'll see what I'm saying as if we go along. Take a rubber band and just put it towards the end of the braid and cut off the excess. Woo, there we go. <laughs> okay, so next we have this beautiful, amazing, mink straight 18 inch bundle from Boss Extend. Get a hairpin and stick it into the end of the weft. Stick it into the end of the braid, preferably inside the middle of the rubber band, and then take the ends and of the pin and fold it upward. Kind of like making it like latch on so it will not come off. For the seventh step, start wrapping, my love. Start, start, start wrapping. So I'm holding the middle of the braid and I'm taking that weft and I'm just going to wrap it all the way around the braid until we get up to the top of the ponytail. And every now and then I am going to go ahead and add a pin in and I'm sticking that pin through the middle of the braid, okay? Now I love this technique because I feel like it's so easy it's so efficient to me it lasts way longer than glue because i've done ponytails with glue and it literally unravels <laughs> like um on like the third fourth or fifth day depending on how rough you are with your hair and i love this method because there is no cleanup it literally when you're time to when it's time to take this ponytail down all you really have to do is just unravel it take the pins out fold the bundles for another hairstyle so you get more wear out of your bundles, I feel like, by doing this infinity ponytail method. So I absolutely love it. Also, if you're wondering if you can see the braid through your ponytail, you actually can't see the braid through the ponytail because it's covered by so much hair. Now these bundles were so long as far as like the wefts, <laughs> so I actually used majority of this bundle on majority of the braid. I would say in total I tried my hardest to squeeze both bundles in. Now it was a challenge now. <laughs> I probably could have just used one bundle to be honest. I didn't really need two, but I wanted to go ahead and just see how much my braid could take. So um, I pretty much used a bundle and a half I would say. Or a little bit more than a bundle and a half but you can actually use just one bundle if you want a really natural look so this is how long it is right now if it was 18 inches I'll show you how long it would have been if it was 18 inches now for this little piece that's left of the first bundle I'm gonna just take it and spray with hairspray and wrap it all the way around the braid until I can't wrap it anymore and secure it with a hairpin I pretty much sped it up a little bit because it was um, self-explanatory. Whatever we did for the first bundle, we're going to be doing for the second bundle. Now, if your arms are not burning, honey, you are... Tell me what the hell you drinking <laughs> because my arms was on fire. So, I guess I used almost two full bundles because I cut off the excess. And this little piece that was left, as you can see, I'm going to take that and wrap it around my ponytail to secure it. Now, the issue that people use is they pull this really tight. Do not do that because you'll be making your ponytail even tighter and it will be more uncomfortable. Secure it with a pin, <laughs> my arms, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just brush it out. Take a tiny small piece from the back, douse it with hairspray, and wrap it around the ponytail. And the point of this is to really, really cover the wefts and kind of just finish it off with a neatened garnish. Is it a garnish? It'll be garnish if you ask me. And this is the ponytail that we have. I'm gonna go ahead and just brush it. Now everything is still drying, so as I'm brushing, I am being very gentle, but it is very secure and it is really, really, really held in place. I'm gonna use some Moroccan oil because I love it. It doesn't drip, it gives it a nice shine, and it doesn't leave your hair all greasy and weird looking. 
So this is where we're at right now. Get you a flat iron and flat iron your hair as straight as possible to give it some more life and shine. And then I wanted to go ahead and just give it a nice little trim. So here I, here I am just doing a blunt cut. That's all folks. And now you can go ahead and just play in your hair, play in your ponytail. Now if you guys are interested in getting some boss extend hair, please go to the website down below. If you don't know Sparkle Marie, she's fabulous. I love her. She's, I mean, we usually vlog together a lot when we go out of town, or when I go out of town, I should say. Um, so she's definitely a really amazing YouTuber on YouTube, businesswoman, and on Instagram. But definitely check out the hair. I'm always impressed when she wears it. I love it. This is my first time wearing it, and I absolutely love it, to be honest. Thank you so much for watching this video guys tell me what you guys think down below of this ponytail and should i do more ponytails see you in my next video bye guys